taxes. So black consumer cooperatives can build housing. I built the King Garvey housing complex that the people turned into a cooperative, 211 units of uh, low and moderate income housing that still stands. Um, we can repair housing. We can design and manufacture clothing, which a number of our people are doing. You know, our culture is creative. And in fact, with strong backing, black clothing makers could challenge some of the most beautiful <clears throat> some of the most beautiful creations coming out of places like Italy or France. <clears throat> These are among the most creative Europeans. You know, they have sense of style. Blacks, when it comes to style, baby, I don't know if anybody can beat us. And we have black stylists. We need more. Making clothing. We gave birth to a matchlinger to, um, you know, the shoe process. And so we can design and repair shoes, operate restaurants. We have black communities that are food starved. They don't, they don't have grocery stores in them. <coughs> they don't have supermarkets in them. They don't have restaurants in them. And so good restaurants, that has been a mainstay for black folks and our cuisine is top of the line when it's top of the line. And that is an area that we can do more with. And we need grocery stores. We used to have a lot. We need more and big ones too. We're out of the farming business right now because basically multinationals control farming. And black farmers have had trouble getting funding and there's some suits that have just recently been settled for black farmers, but we have a very small number of black farmers. We need more. I, you know, I do a book thing, you know, I'm no big business on it, but um, we do have a couple of black book businesses, uh, one, two, three that I know of that are significant, Black Classics Press, Africa World Press and Africa African Press. And there are probably others where we <clears throat> publish books, sometimes edit them and print them, and just in some cases distribute them, as well as magazines. We have Blacks who are doing magazines, the hip hop community has done a pretty good job with that. <clears throat> now, I would say that. In closing this, the most important area for black economic development, consumer cooperatives, or just economic development, period. Some younger blacks and older blacks have appreciated. The two most important areas of the American economy is aeronautics and culture. These are the two that generate the largest amount of capital globally. Generally, um, as recent as a few years ago, culture ranked higher than aeronautics. <clears throat> a good part of that culture is African-American culture. Our culture is a culture of popular choice of this country and the world. It's also the classical culture a popular choice of this country and the world. And that includes the art form. So this is an area that is of greatest importance. Say whatever you want about Jay-Z. He learned a few things about how you maneuver in that realm. Now, of course, that's capitalism. And I'm, I'm not a capitalist. I'm not for it. But the point is consumer cooperatives can do that. Your, your culture is your coin of the realm. It is your sweet inspiration, but it should also put something on the table. You hear me? We gave birth to Kwanzaa. Maulana Karinga gets credit for that. 
we should be profiting from Kwanzaa. A lot of people were so um, curious that, you know, I thought it was wrong to do that, you know? Well, why? I mean, what's wrong with that? I, you know, various ways. You, you don't have to charge for admission to Kwanzaa, but you've got Kwanzaa symbols, you know? Some blacks are making them and selling them, but a lot of them are being made and sold by somebody else. You know, you got a lot of ways to do that as, as a business thing as well. Now, I'm not into that, I, I don't, but I'm saying it, it's a smart move. It's a move we should make. So in the end, culture is what defines this. So we're the most creative people on the planet. It should be at the source of our economic development and our prosperity. So in conclusion, political, cultural, economic philosophy is at the core of our culture. It is the deepest part and the most beautiful part of our culture. <clears throat> it's what unifies us as a nation within a nation. It is the basis for making things better for our people. Now, I'm not going to sell no story here that consumer cooperatives are going to be the basis for freeing our people. I'm not going to sell any story that you are going to be free just through economic empowerment. Uh -uh. You're going to have to free yourself from all those things that tear you down in this system. But you can do, we as a people can do a lot better by building on that. Poverty is misery. If we can lift some of the poverty off our people's backs, then that's the reason for doing this. But in the end, it's gonna take systemic change of the system before our people are fully free. But this is an important area for us to address. I'm one of the few nationalists that's good at economic development. One of the few. And I'm not that much interested in money. I, I'm interested in it because it's a, ne a, a necessity. But it isn't what wakes me up. But I am sure not into being broke. Broke is no joke. That's not a good thing. But if you're young and you're broke, it's all right. I was for a good 10 years and it was deliberate. I'm in a black freedom movement, man. I wasn't interested in no money. And that was the best part of my life. But the fact of the matter is, it's good to have something in reserve. And we know in this country, housing is really the basis for passing on any wealth for the average person. And we know that that has been blocked for a long time for black people. And then a lot of the loans we have received have been bad loans, particularly those loans that brought down the 2008 collapse, but even before that. So that the intergenerational wealth that whites have that isn't that much, but is much more than blacks, is largely based on passing on um, a house. And so that if you can, that's what you should get. Remember the uh, sisters, when we were talking the last couple of weeks, their parents gave them some advice. Get a job, get a husband or a wife, and get a house. <laughs> that's at least the start of it. So that's something, you know, that you need. I mean, what's the point of just renting when now on the East and West Coast, rent is a mortgage. What you're lacking is a down payment. And we should do like the old Southern Blacks did. They come up North and pile three and four families in a house, you know? And they don't leave until uh, they've got a job and they're on their feet. So you put people on their feet. So we should do that. Instead of all of our kids, when they get property, selling it, sometimes keep it. It depends on what's in your best interest. So home ownership is something so you can pass something on to the, your, your children, but teach them something about how to handle money. You know what I mean? So that's it. Who would have thought philosophy could get you into economic development? Isn't that funny?
<laughs> it's got everything to do with it. Why do you think that the only people that support black businesses are black people? Did you know that? That's because we're the only ones that have a philosophy to do it. The philosophy of the others is, uh-uh, except for the exceptional black businesses. They'll support those. So if we're the only people we can count on, then we need to do everything we can to mobilize as much support as we can from our people. Hotel.